What's up, everybody? It's Brandon Terrell from Cubby's Blog BT. Today we will be joined by Cole Roeder, and we'll chat about some things of what it's like to be a professional baseball player during this quarantine. So thanks for listening and checking it out. Make sure to go check out CubbiesBlogBT.com, and we'll talk to you later. Uh, in your playing career, you know, besides your parents, who do you think's played the biggest role for you? Um, that'd be my grandmother. Uh, my parents worked a lot, you know, when I was growing up. So my grandmother kind of watched over me, kind of was like my second mom, if you will. And um, she was actually the reason I got into sports. You know, mm-hmm. back then she was a little younger, so she could move around a little bit, and she would throw me balls and kick me soccer balls. So she's definitely the reason, you know, that I, I play baseball, play sports. Mm-hmm. In high school, did you just play baseball or did you play more sports? Uh, I just played baseball. I played uh, I played football before that with baseball. And then when I got to my freshman year, my parents were like, hey, man, like, you just got to pick one. So I was like, all right, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll pick baseball. I'll play baseball. So. Uh, as a player, and what motivates you to get up every day and go to work? I put go to work in quotations because it's baseball, but still during the yeah. offseason, everything, go to work. I mean, at the end of the day, like, this is my dream. Like, I I, I mean, I'd probably be doing baseball stuff regardless just because, like, you know, this is this is, this is what I got. You know, this is, this is something I've been crafting my whole life. So, um, I mean, and you got to know, like, there's someone out there just putting in way more work than you that's trying to get your spot someday, that's trying to put you out of a job and trying to get you to sit back home and with your parents, you know, in your bed all day. So, um, just having that for, like, that fire in your ass that you got to get going, you got to keep going is it's a good thing to have. So you've played two season, uh, two seasons. The second year under Buddy Bailey, mm-hmm. how important and uh, big of a leadership role does he play? I mean, dude, dude, like literally is he's a walking like just record. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, it's amazing. Like he's he's an old style coach. Like that, like not you know he's not like in the new philosophies or anything. But dude knows how to coach and dude knows how to win championships. And um, it was truly a pleasure last year to play with him and kind of learn from him and see what he's about. So. It was definitely beneficial to my career, and I'll definitely take that career. It's like a, it's a very, very influential year. Mm-hmm. So, what has the the life of a professional baseball player been like under this quarantine, locked in the locked in the house? Dude, it's been rough, honestly. Um, it's been a lot of video games and like a lot of like, it's a lot of like self discipline right now because it's hard to find places to throw. Because at at one point in California, um, it was a thousand dollar fine to go to any park so you couldn't throw there, so you're throwing on the street. You know, a random road that nobody was on for five, ten minutes just trying to get in throws. Um, hitting wise, I mean, like I had to build my own cage in my backyard just to be able to be able to hit somewhere. You know what I mean? So um, it's tough. It's a lot of trying to like cut corners and kind of make it make ends meet. But um, right now, it's a lot of baseball, a lot of lifting, and a lot of video games, and that's mm-hmm. that's literally all my life is right now. So when it comes to throwing, like, do you have a neighbor or buddy or family member you throw with or somebody um, driving in? Unfortunately, unfortunately, no out here. Um, I live so far that's like, all my neighbors are pretty pretty spread out. So I don't have any of my neighbors that can throw. They're really close to most of them. They're kind of a little odd. But um, I just have one of my buddies from, like, my high school that I went to school with that plays at Washington State and one that plays at Calabas. It's, you know, whenever mm-hmm. we want to throw our head out, we just text each other, hey, man, like, I'll be coming down or whatever. I'll come up and we'll just throw and get it after mm-hmm. it. So the other the other player that I've talked to so far is Brennan Davis. So mm-hmm. how much of an impact did he have playing with you? Because obviously he's top five prospects as long as you too as well. But uh, you know how much fun was that playing alongside with him? Uh, I mean, I met Brennan. I met Brennan when we were in Chicago for a pre-draft workout. Um, Instantly, me, him, and Cole Franklin were kind of connected when uh, we came to the draft. Uh, we live together now. We hang out literally all the time. Like I'm actually going down to Arizona to see him, to give him company. because He's at our uh, apartment alone in Arizona. So I'm going to go give him company in like a week or so. But, no, I really love the kid, and the, the kid loves the work. And, you know, me and him don't usually butt heads. We usually are kind of like the same way. We just want to get after it all the time. And if we can't, we're kind of antsy and get bored. So, um, it's good to have someone like that in your corner, and especially the one that lives in your house that, you know, constantly pushing each other to get better and constantly pushing each other to be the best we could be. Well, based on his social media, golf seems to be the fun thing to do to get out. So who has a better golf swing? Um, okay, so driving, I'll smack him all day long. But the dude got golf lessons, okay? It's automatically cheating. Mm. I'm all natural, you know what I mean? I'm never even – 
I mean, I'll just I'll learn off completely on my own. So he's got, you know, he's got a nice short game because he you know, got got lessons and stuff. And I'm just trying to wing it, but uh, he's definitely got a good golf game. I get that kid actually; those lessons paid off. He's actually pretty nice to get golf. Yeah, the the social media pictures you post looks like finding a lot better than where I'm at in Southern Indiana, but can't complain. <laughs> yeah, Arizona, so, Arizona right now is is really mm, pretty. Yeah. Oh yeah, I bet. And it would have been a lot nicer with baseball. Yeah, that's that is for sure. It's better than being at my house right now in yeah. April. Um, yeah, like a, without the baseball season, you know, motivation's got to be key for all these athletes. And it's good to see that you're still being able to work and uh, get stuff done. Yeah, man. Like I, I just have a problem. Like I can't, I can't not do anything. Like I mm-hmm. get like I start like getting really antsy, really like it starts to fixate really bad. So um, when it goes to like a couple of days without doing anything, without like anything to do. I just gotta get. I don't care if I just gotta go like run by myself or do something. I just gotta get out of the house and do something. Mm-hmm. I just lose my mind. Yeah, well, uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. So uh, maybe after this, I'll send you my PlayStation, and you can. I'll kick your butt in Call of Duty if it lets me download it. Or I don't know if you want to do that. Big. I'm so nasty at Call of Duty. I'm on PC. Ah, uh, um, gotcha. Dude, I'm 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 gross. Fortnite, a little bit less gross, but Call of Duty, I'm I'm gross. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the Fortnite, but I have I have I have Call of Duty. Dude, OG Call of Duty is where it's at. Honestly, I'll give you that. It's Call of Duty is the move. I like Call I like Call of Duty more than any game being out right now. Mm. You play MOB? Um, I used to when I had my PS4. Not as much now because like I don't want to do it on PC because it's just weird. Um, but uh, I still have my PS4. If I ever get live again, uh, so I'll get the show and like set it back up and get nasty at it again. Then I could beat you at that. You'd probably take me a Call of Duty, but I don't know about yeah, MLB. The, the show, you the, the show, you you hundred percent beat me. I don't even do in my house. I don't even try to play anymore because all my roommates are just nasty at it. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna play anymore. I'm just not worth it. Well, like I said, don't want to waste too much of your time. Thanks for coming on. It was it was nice to talk to you. And uh, sucks you don't get to play baseball this year, but uh, we'll see what you yeah. get to do next year. Yeah, of course, man. This is my pleasure. Thank you for having me on. You know, hopefully if there's some baseball soon in the future, we can both watch some baseball soon, man. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, peace uh, out. Take care. Have a good one. You too.